So here's what I want you to write down. Take notes or write it in your phone. All learning is state dependent. All learning is state dependent. The most valuable things you, when you think about in your life, you know, they're your, they're your memories, right? It's not just remembering facts, figures, remembering, you know, I teach actors how to memorize their, their talks or TED speakers, how to memorize their, their, their speeches, if you will, in a fraction of time. It's not just about that. It's remembering three things. The reason why you want to have a, a great memory, it helps you to be able to remember three L's. Number one, it helps you to remember your life, right? Because if your life is worth living, it's worth, it's worth remembering. You know, we are the sum of, of, our, of our memories. I, um, the, one of the reasons why I'm on this path is because when I was going through this broken brain stage when I was a child, my, my primary caregiver, my parents were, they, we, they immigrated here. My, we lived in the back of a laundromat that my mother worked at. Was, my caregiver was my grandmother. And, um, and she, she passed of, of Alzheimer's. You know, and just to, to watch that and be able to experience, how many people know what I'm, what I'm talking about? And so one of the things I do is I spend a lot of time in, in senior centers. I train at the Cleveland Clinic. Not only their doctors, but their, but their patients and their caregivers to help them to polish off their memories. Because what you want to remember are the things about your life because th those are what that's what life, your memories in those moments are what life is made of, right? And that's wonderful when you're there to be able to capture some of the most important moments in people's lives, you know, through the art, of photog the art and science of photography. And so memorize, remembering your life. The other thing you want to remember are your loved ones, right? The people that make life, life worth living. And then finally, not only your life, but your loved ones, you want to remember those lessons, right? The lessons in our, in our life. Because I do believe that some, some of us repeat mistakes in our life, whether it's in our area of health, we eat the same bad things or, or, or the same, make the same mistake in relationships sometimes or in our business, not because of... What, what's the definition of insanity? It's doing the, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I don't think that's insanity as much as it is a poor memory. Do you know what I mean? We're repeating mistakes that we've made in the past because we're not remembering the lessons. So part of why you want to have your memory in check and you want to be able to upgrade your brain like you, like you upgrade your phones all the, you know, all the time, you want to be able to upgrade your mind because I believe all of you, we all have the potential to have like a near photographic memory when we're talking about photography. The challenge is we need to be able to upgrade our technologies, you know, and our, our recording, you know, the devices, our data, our data to be able to reflect the world that we're in right now because the world has changed so, so much and that's a big challenge. And so you want to remember these things. And so that's part of it is remembering our life, our loved ones, and our lessons, the lessons we're going to learn. Because I believe the life we live are the lessons we teach other people. The life we live are the lessons that we teach. 